Hey everybody, it's Campfire Trish and it is a glorious um, still winter day, but it is warm enough to wear a short sleeve, which is always nice. We've actually had a very, very mild winter this year. So hoping to get some snow cooking <laughs> videos done, but we haven't had any yet. But um, today um, we are underneath the um, no fires before 4 p.m. Uh, rulings and I already have something else that needs to go uh, be cooked on the fire later on this afternoon and my Dutch oven is um, otherwise spoken for so I'm going to be um, cooking inside which is kind of sad but uh, when I'm cooking today it's a slow process so um, it would take a lot of managing and a lot of fiddling on the campfire but this would be a great idea for a meal prep beforehand especially when it's cold outside or in the summertime or whenever you kind of want some soup so we're going to be doing um, I'm going to be doing a 15 bean soup I know you guys are probably familiar with it beans are a great um, protein and fiber and um, it's a great pretty inexpensive meal um, if you're trying to be cost conscious um, and kind of healthy uh, so in this 15 bean soup I'm actually going to be um, tossing in some pork with it so um, some people will do ham hock or um, um, or nothing uh, no meat at all I'm going to be doing some um, center cut pork that I've chopped up so let's get to it one thing I will say I've already pre-soaked my beans, so I put them in, here's my pitcher, I put them on the stove top the, uh, last evening um, and filled my pot with water, <clears throat> and they've sat there for probably, gosh, 14 hours or so, give or take, I can't remember exactly what time I put them on the stove, but it's either 12 to 14 hours, whichever. A while um, and so uh, I'm doing the long method and it does take a couple of hours to do this so there is quicker methods you can use but I'm going with the slow method today all right let's get to it all right so um, I've actually already preheated my little skillet I've got about a pound uh, a little over of uh, this chopped um, kitty cat hair imagine that we have kitty cats and they got hit their hair everywhere um, I've got a about a pound of um, some chopped pork loin I'm just adding it to the pot I'm gonna go ahead and do a pretty liberal sprinkling of Adobe which as you all know if you watched my channel before hey by the way if you have not subscribed already do so give me a like give me a comment go ahead and subscribe to this channel Good sprinkling of adobe and i'm just going to um kind of move this around a little bit i just want it to get browned it doesn't need to cook through because we're going to be adding it to soup but i do want it to get a little browned so get that little crust to it i think just enhances that soup flavor when you do it and uh yeah i'm just going to brown this up and then we'll go to the next steps all right, so while my meat is cooking, let me turn my heat up a little bit on that. Um, so here are the um, already um, pre-soaked beans, and you can tell they're they're just right. As you can see, some of the beans have actually popped open. So these are the big lima beans, and they plumped up some. So um, these look really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and add about eight to nine cups of water to my pot. I haven't turned it on yet. I'm going to wait till my pork's ready to go in. And then I'm also going to add um, one large chopped onion. Whoops, as I knock something in. Why don't you say hi, Main Squeeze, Sam? Hi. He was pinching my butt. I wasn't. <laughs> I wish. Uh, dude. I know what I felt trying to get me to say something on camera here but um so here is the the onion and we've got the beans we got the water and um now I'm just gonna finish up with that um pork and then we'll add that in turn the stove on and do next steps all right so you can see I've already started flipping some of these are you starting to get that nice 
little browning crust. I like to do this with any type of meats. Um, if it's not like, obviously if it's a ground meat, I'm browning it beforehand before I put it in the soup. But if I like doing this, if I have the time with any type of meats, um, just kind of getting that little bit of browning on it so that way it just adds more flavor, I think. Maybe it's all in my head, but I think it adds a little bit more flavor. Enhances those soups for sure. All right, so I got that meat browned up again. I don't have to cook it through, just wanted to get a little bit of crusting on it just to help, help add some flavor. And now I'm going to turn my pot up, my water on, or my pot on, <laughs> and I want to get this to um, a simmer, a boil. And then um, once I get it boiling, I'm gonna turn it down and it's gonna simmer for a number of hours. I'm not gonna add any seasoning to it at the moment. But I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and cover it and get it going. All right, so my soup is almost to a boil. Um, I have added just um, some garlic powder to my mixture um, so far. I think I'm gonna go ahead and lower my temperature and I'm trying to keep it at a simmer for the next one and a half hours or so. So I'm gonna put my top on, lower my temperature and let it do its magic. All right, so the soup has been cooking for a couple of hours now. I'm gonna go ahead and add, it's gonna be a teaspoon of chili powder. It's a half. And another half and I'm also going to um, add a can of diced tomatoes right here I'm gonna give it a good stir I've already added the garlic powder so I don't have to add that and um, I'm going, if you want to use garlic, you could totally use garlic. My garlic is tasting kind of funny lately, so I'm going to skip it. And I also have the juice of one lemon that I'm adding right here as well. And now this is, I'm just going to let this kind of sit and do its thing for a little while longer. All right, so since I am the chef, I have taken a taste of the soup and I have found it lacking. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more adobo, adobe, sorry, um, adobo, it is adobo. I am saying it right, silly me, to it and hoping to help spice it up. I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt as well. And um, it just needs, a little bit of something something um, added to it so I'm hoping that this will help it, it it's lacking some flavor so let me just do a good stir we do a little tasty taste try not to drip it on my phone mmm that's better good um, I think it still needs something. Um, da -dum, da -dum. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to add some farm dust to it. If you've watched my channel, you know that I really do like this um, Dutch Country Seasons seasonings, farm dust seasoning. Let me see if that, if that does the trick or not. Oh, better much better so that's it so yeah um as i have suggested in the past make sure you taste it and adjust your seasoning however you like you to do it based on your own taste you might think that the original flavor was just right or not so again adjust to your own tastings
All right, so we decided to bring our dinner outside and Sam's holding his bowl. Mine's, mm -hmm. mine's not being held at the moment. We're sitting in the sun because it's a little chilly, but you want to give it a try? Yeah, I keep spilling it on myself, might as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Good? I'm going to try to take a bite. Well, I had without... to try it first. What? I had to try it first. Well, mine's on the thing. Ah, I'm trying not to spill it. Mm. Here. Try mine. What'd you do? Mmm. What'd you do? I added adobo and garlic to mine. So he added more. So I've been adding adobo and garlic to it throughout. But a little bit more actually mm -hmm. is a lot better. So what do you think? That's good. a pretty cheap meal. So I ended up buying a five pound um, pork loin and cutting a pound of it off, a little bit more, trimmed it up and that's what I used for the soup. And then I'm debating on if I'm gonna cut the rest of the um, pork loin and another piece um, or just cook it whole. I'm, I'm debating, still deciding. And then we use the 15 bean soup mix, which is like cheap. Mm -hmm. And we definitely have leftovers for, gosh, mm -hmm. probably four meals. So it's actually a pretty cost efficient meal with the pork loin. The pork loin was like like the five pound, a little bit over five pound pork loin was like $15 probably. So that's probably the most expensive ingredient for sure. Where'd you get it from? Walmart. Oh yeah, Walmart meat's always more expensive. Yeah. You should, I don't know. I used to pay about $1.99 for pork loin, but that was pre-inflation. So I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe more now. <laughs> yeah, I, it's called what I could get online without me having to go into the store to do so. So probably pay a little bit more than I would prefer to if I shopped around. But um, the I think the bean mix is less than $2. I might be wrong. Um, and then it was a can of um, um, tomato, diced tomatoes and an onion. And then the seasoning I already had in place. Mm -hmm. So pretty cost effective meal, trying to save a little money and, um, and get a pretty nutritious meal on top of it too. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And, um, give me some likes, comments, uh, share, please share. I like to, it'd be fun to do this full time, maybe one year. <laughs> I have a long way on. to go. Dream on. <laughs> I would love to travel and camp around the world, but that would be fun. But yeah, I could only get there with your assistance. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next Saturday at 8 a.m., bye.